everyone and welcome to the February Head Teacher Update for me, Dave Howe, Head Teacher here at Patchway Community School. Very warm welcome to you all. Uh, first thing, a uh, bit of excitement today. We had a, a, a visitor uh, from a, a local bit of wildlife. A fox came onto our site today. Uh, just to let you know, uh, our visitor was escorted by animal services uh, off the premises without incident. So uh, a little bit of excitement for us all to see uh, a fox on our school site today. Okay, just the, the usual but very, very important critical reminders. Uh, firstly, about attendance. Uh, really, really important that your child is in school, on time, every single day. We cannot support them, we cannot help them learn, we cannot help them progress unless they're actually here. Then linked to that, please could you make sure that your child is in the correct uniform um, and equipped correctly as well, which includes uh, a reading book uh, and also all of the stationery and equipment that we have outlined, which is on our website as well. If you need help and support with any aspects of uniform or equipment, uh, please, please do let us know. Linked to that, there are two items which um, a small number of students are still uh, wearing day in, day out at school, which we are in contact with you, of course, about, but uh, we would like your assistance with sorting. One is leggings. Uh, a significant but small number of girls are, are still persistently wearing leggings each day. And the other one is nose studs. Um, which are allowed, but they need to be clear, please. And we have clear nose studs in school. So if your uh, son or daughter is wearing a nose stud that's not clear, please could you sort that out uh, or uh, allow us to sort that out on their behalf. Lovely news as well. For parents of students in year 10, uh, next week is our work experience uh, week, which is very, very exciting. It's been a real huge challenge securing work experience placements again this year, still following the pandemic. There are a lot of employers who have not yet uh, reopened their doors to work experience placements. I'd like to thank particularly Penny and also Rosanna for all the hard work they've put into uh, ensuring that our over 70 year 10 students who are taking part in work experience uh, next week are able to do so. Uh, if you are a parent of year 10 student you should have received an email confirming all of the arrangements for next week. If you are in year 10 and have not secured a work experience placement then uh, all other year 10 students should be in school please uh, as normal. Um, year 9s, uh, I'd, I'd start by linking it back to the previous one. If you are a parent of a student in Year 9 and you want to start thinking about work experience placement for next year for your child, now is the time to do so. You can start to have conversations with contacts you might know uh, and start to let us know so we can plan ahead. That would be brilliant. I'd also like to thank uh, all of our Year 9 parents who came to the Year 9 Options evening very recently and then the following Year 9 parents evening last week. Both were extremely well attended, uh, very, very positive um, evenings, both of those. Again, uh, if you're a parent of Year 9 related to options, you should have had received an email which confirms the, uh, the form to fill in regarding your uh, child's option choices going into Year 10 and uh, 11. Um, I'm sorry I've got to mention strikes. Um, can I first of all say thank you to all of our parents and carers for the support uh, for the strike um, last week. Um, but uh, we also have three more strikes pending. Uh, and the dates of those are the 2nd of March and then the 15th and 16th of March. Um, as yet, we have not confirmed exact arrangements because uh, we don't know exactly which uh, numbers of staff will be out of school on those days, but it is quite likely to assume that the arrangements will be very similar to uh, the, the first strike that happened very recently. In other words, students will be engaged in home-based uh, learning and a small number of our uh, vulnerable students will be invited into school. Um, just a, another couple of reminders, these have been sent out via email, but just a reminder, I think that they're quite important. There's an Olympus online safety hub for uh, you as parents and carers to access for any support and information that you think you might need with regards to helping keep your child safe online. I know it's a fairly bewildering world, certainly is for me, um, and staying uh, on top of all of the online profiles and lives that uh, our children lead is extremely challenging so please do check out the Olympus online safety hub if you need any support with regards to to any of that. Um, 
lovely thing that's uh, it's about to happen actually this afternoon, the first one. Um, we have a series of rewards events for our students who have uh, 95% uh, or above attendance and positive behaviour uh, tariff overall. They're, this time it was, it was a movie last term, uh, cinema experience, popcorn and a lot. Uh, this time it is hot chocolate with, of course, marshmallows. Um, uh, in the uh, the canteen for the, this afternoon for year 10 and all other year groups are next week and I know that there are uh, over 90 year 10s taking part in that this afternoon so that's absolutely lovely. Uh, just to emphasise we absolutely do recognise and reward the students who do day in day out get it right we definitely don't take that for granted and, and thank you for all your support on that front. Last two for me, uh, if you're a parent of a child in year 11, we now have a date for the year 11 prom. Uh, it will take place on the 15th of June between 7 and 11 p.m. and it will be at the Grange Hotel, which is in Winterbourne. Uh, more details will come out soon. We have also um, uh, initiated a process for you to order Lever's hoodies and a yearbook. Um, and we will also be doing a Year 11 Leavers video as well. So if you would like uh, a hoodie uh, and or a yearbook for your child, please uh, let us know so we can get those orders in ASAP. And the last one is just a reminder, every single Friday, no notice needed, SLT, drop in any issues you would like to bring up with us. You're always welcome. Uh, take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.